since the, somehow I got a, set up with a GPT partition. Won't be able to do it from just disk management. <laughs> it won't allow it. Um, so basically what I'm going to need you to do is close out disk management. Okay. And then what I'm going to need you to do is click on start and then click on run. Okay. And then I need you to type in, in the run window, I need you to type in all one word, disk part, D-I-S-K. P A R T. Okay. And then press enter. Okay. And now what I need you to do is type list space D e I S K. Uh, yes. And then press enter. Okay. Okay, you should. You should see two disks there. Is it disk zero and disk one, correct? Yes. Okay, now what I want you to type is. enter yeah press enter I'm sorry should have told you that this one is now the selected disk okay and now what I need you to type is the word clean C L E A N okay Sounds like it's doing something. This part succeeded in cleaning the disk. Okay, now type exit and press enter. Okay. Okay. And now you can close the run window. Okay. And let's go back into disk management now. Okay. All right, I'm there. They go down to the gray area down there again. Is there a red X on disk one? It says initial. When I click on disk management, a window pops up. Says initialize and convert disk wizard. That's fine. Click okay. click next or cancel out. Or close, actually, just close the wizard. Okay. Okay, down there is disk management open? Correct. And down there at the lower half of the screen again, under disk zero, you should see disk one. Right. Is there a red mark on it? Yes. Right click on where it says disk one, so the gray area. Okay. And click initialize. All right. This one is checked. Click OK. okay. Click. Click OK. Yeah, click OK. And now the red X is gone, right? Correct. Okay, now in the white area next to disk one. Okay. Right mouse click. Right. And you'll either see the word format or you'll see the word uh, new create new partition. It says new partition. Click new partition. Okay, the wizard's up. Now, while I'm doing this, can I set it so that I can use this external hard drive with two computers? Uh, you can use it, I mean, with two computers, you know, you mean you want to partition it into two partitions? Right. 
I mean, yeah, we can do that. Okay. And what size do you want one partition to be? Oh, uh, for one, 125, and the other one, uh, the balance, which is uh, 375. I got it. We use the decimal format, so to us, it's 500 gig. The Windows uses a binary format, so to them, it's a 465.65 gigs. Right. That's, yes, that's fine. Okay, because that'll make the math simpler here. Um, okay, go ahead and I'll... The wizard's up, right? Yes. And click next. Okay. And now what do you see on your screen? Select the partition type you want to create. Primary, extended. Primary. Okay. And anything else on that screen or is that it? That's it. Okay, click next. Okay. And now what do you have on the screen? Maximum disk space megabyte. I mean, what's the number there? 476938. Okay, let me convert that. What's the mathematics? That's yeah, what I'm, I'm just using. I'm getting a com converter off the internet. Oh, okay. I want you to type in that box. Okay. Put one, two, two, nine, three, eight. Okay. And then what do you have on the screen? One, two, two, nine, three, eight, and you can go forward or back or cancel. Okay, go next. Okay. Assign the following drive letter. Um, is it already assigned one? Uh, there's a pull down. Okay, uh, pick a drive letter. Okay. Okay, so you assigned it a drive letter though, correct? Yes. Okay, go ahead and just hit next. Okay. Okay, now it gives you an option of format this partition with the following settings, file system NTFS, allocation. You can give, you can give it a volume label if you want, you know, a name. Okay. And then you want to put a check mark in perform quick format. Perform a quick format. Okay. And then you would just hit next. Next. Okay. And completing the partition move is it? So click finish. Finish. Okay. It's processing. Okay. We have the volume let drive. We have the drive name, the partition, and formatting status. So I will repeat this to... Guys, uh, and see, basically when this gets done, uh, whatever drive letter you've seen will be sitting there. Right. It'll say healthy, active NTFS. will right. be that, and then the rest of it will be unallocated. And you would right-click and go through the same process to format, you know, the other partition. Okay. But this time you would leave it at the max number, so it would partition the whole thing. So what... Left. Would I choose the partition as primary or extended? Yeah, still primary. 